Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on ARWIN tool for the data modeling. Whenever you open a data modeling tool, you will see this first page where you can see the various sections. At the top, you have the toolbar. So using the toolbar, you can draw the various entities and their relationship and some more components. Then you have the model explorer. At the bottom, there are three sections. One is action log advisories and overview so let's have a detailed view on this all these sections at the top as we see there are toolbar which are the file edit view diagram model actions tools windows and help suppose if you are using standard uh, if you are using standard or the community edition and if you want to migrate to the advanced edition and if you got the license then you can do that by go going to the help go to the licensing and here you can provide the license file and by that way you can upgrade your ERWIN data modeling tool then in the file if you go to the file drop down you can have the new open and import export etc options if you want to create a new project for the data modeling you can just click new if you have already created a data modeler uh, project and if you want to open then you can use the open up option in the edit section this is the normal edit uh, section as like other tools where we can copy paste or delete the components in the view section it's most relevant to the how the data modeler view will look like for the because for the logical data model or for the physical data model the view get changed for this tool so slightly more components will be added or removed as per the model selection so that view will be based on the what type of model you are selecting then we have the diagram section where you can align uh, the various diagrams in your view for example if you want to align horizontally then you can align horizontally if you want to align the components vertically then you can go to the diagram and align section and you can align accordingly if you want to delete any particular diagram you can delete also in the model section we have the default values domain entities relationship validation rules etc option we will see we will explore this option as we proceed further with this tutorial then we have the action button where action is mostly for if for example if you have developed the uh, model and by using that model you want to create the tables in the database how can you create so for that first thing you need the data connection database connection and that is option available here if you want to use the transformations such as horizontal par partition vertical partition etc then those options are also available there are two type um, type of modeling actions are available first kind of reverse engineering option and then forward uh, engineering so what is reverse engineering Suppose you have already created tables in the database, so you also achieved the relationship bet between those tables. And based on those tables, if you want to create the data model, you can create by using reverse engineering option. Or in the reverse case, consider you have developed the data model and using the data model, you want to create tables automatically. So that is nothing but forward engineering, that option also available. Once you select the physical data, models, data physical uh, data model. Then we have the other options such as complete compare, manage snapshots, or design layer, etc. We'll see this option as we proceed further. Then we have the tools section. In the tools section, we have the pin report, recent report, etc., which which is for the like for more advanced kind of thing. You can generate the reports and you can provide those to the business. In the Windows section, Windows means what are the look and feel of this tool is there. So we can change the look and feel some to till some extent by using this option so let's have a look on the various tool toolbar so if you see at the right hand side we can create new project we can open so as we have not opened any component the uh, we are not created or we are not open the project the other options are disabled so those are more control based means if you have the component then and then only those options get enabled so let's uh, create one sample project 
okay but before creating sample project let's have a look on the model explorer it has the two option model and subject area so what we'll do we'll create one project and we explore these things accordingly in order to create project either you can go to the file and new or you can go go to this uh, button called as new button and click on that it will give us one pop-up which mentions um, what kind of models you are logical physical logical or physical and match temple logical means these are mostly business analysts normally used to capture the business requirement and represent uh, the data model in the form of a business uh, understandable uh, components so there is one more type of model which is conceptual which is like uh, very similar to logical but it is high level and it is um, um, it is mostly meant for the business user or the customers physical model is more technical model the normally developers will be using the physical data models model the third option it is given like it's we can flip the logical into the physical or physical into logical data model by single click or single option we have the match template also so these are the options are available to create the data model so what i'll do i'll select the logical and physical data uh, model option so that whenever i want to flip that i can have the opportunity to do that so just select and click on ok and one page will open so whenever you create a new project if you if you notice now the various buttons are enabled or various toolbars are uh, are available to use at the left hand side you can see the model explorer in the model explorer i see the various components such as annotations data type standard domain etc we will see each section and how to use that as we proceed further and the left at the bottom if you go to the subject area the subject also comes with the additional options also let's go back to the model now why we, uh, these components we are able to see because our current model is logical if i change the logical to physical we can see little more database relevant options are also added in this model explorer such as databases data type standards or file etc so those are most related to the database so you can just flip or you can change the logical to physical or physical to logical by changing this drop down option at the top hand side uh, as we say to create new or open the file we have we also have the option to the save this project then if you want to undo you can ch make the ch undo changes then we have the various entity drawing components you have the cursor you have relationship of ob object once you draw that option you can change the color of that entity etc you can do you can align these components horizontally vertically or or, or in, there are some more options like align center etc then if you have the complex uh, relationship you have the other alternatives or the layouts also by which you are able to see those components align accordingly zoom in zoom out option also available if you want to add the more options such as primary key or foreign key etc those options are also available and we have the setting options if you want to drop particular diagram for the showing the flow how flow is flow diagram is working then you have those options also etc so so this is just an overview of these components at the left hand side we have just seen how the component changes if you change the logical to the physical in the action log it action log is very important if you want to roll back some changes then action log will definitely help we will see that demo as well then we had the advisory so what action we are currently doing it will be mentioned in this advisory and then the overview suppose you have the n number of uh, entities you are drawn in your um, in your project and you want to focus on particular entity that will be available in this works bench so this is nothing but the workbench where we can draw the components but the overview section here it will show the all the components workbench will will show only which we want to highlight or we will show all the components so let's have some more details how to create a one sample entity 
and how to see or configure its uh, properties so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create one table for the uh, showing the how changes or how property we can add so in order to add one entity just select this entity icon and add here so i'm creating party table so you can use appropriate convention suppose i do not want to add the primary key if you add the primary key this will go into this tab okay one more option uh, if you want to go to the next uh, section of this diagram you have to use the tab by using that you can go to the next section for example for now if i don't want to add primary key you can go back and uh, add that also for now in order to show you the, the demo i'm not adding the primary key for now let's go and add some column i'm adding party id and party name <coughs> so i added two columns and i'm done with this diagram suppose uh, i want to change the color of this diagram so what you can do you can select this and here in the drop down you can change this color to the suppose kind of orange uh, if you want to change some text color you can change that also uh, okay it's not highlighting so what i'll do i will make it like this. oh it's a border color and this is the text color okay let me do this so if you see the party color has changed uh, if you want to suppose if you want to make it bold you can make bold or if you want to tilt you can tilt it means as per uh, means like custom thing you can do it now suppose in this diagram i have not added the primary key how to add the primary key so in order to add the primary key you can right click and go to the uh, go to the property or you can just double click one second okay so it's not showing let me do this go here and let me double click okay so if you see here i when i click on those column section i can see the what are the columns available party id party name and at the right hand side it's showing what is the logical data type means it's a car 18 uh, parent domain if you want to change the domain you can change here whether it's a primary key or a foreign key it's a logical or it's a uh, physical option uh, well, let's me add the party id as a primary key so here you can select this primary key and click close so the party id will become a primary key suppose i want to change again okay let me do the double click okay what i'll do i will go to its original location so now again what i did um, I just drag down the party ID and I will double click. Mm, it's not clicking that zone. Okay. So now I can see the primary key again reset. So suppose you, want, you don't want to go to this property section and add. So you have the other option. Just select that and drag over. So it's uh, so simple. So by that way you can add the primary key or you can remove the primary key also. If you want to add more columns, you can just select this section, use enter and add the column. Now suppose I want to show whether the party name is null column or not null column. So in that case, again, just double click. Okay, it's uh, somehow it's not clicking. Okay, so party name so i added it's a for it's it's not a primary key so it should be it can be nullable so if you want to change it's a data type from the car 18 to suppose car only you can have the option then here is the null option whether it's nullable or not nullable so let me make it's a not nullable so that 
user can provide those value then we have the constraint if you are if you want to add any constraint then you can have that option if you want to add any link key group style etc definitions if you want where use so that location can be also available udp history when it was created when it was changed etc and you can close it so this party name is now not none now few of the properties let me go display level we have the display levels entity attribute primary key etc then we have the override font and color so if you want to change particular font you have that option or you can use this bar also to change those things we have the entity property attribute property key group properties then uh, if you want to copy the theme to some other option for example this is orange color entity and if you want to copy this theme to uh, other entities you have that option also let's go to the entity property and uh, these are the properties we have uh, so this is particular for the party entity so it's not everyone now uh, what I did I just double click on this background so when you double click on the background you can see various options uh, let me narrow down this thing okay that is. so you can see if I double click on that diagram I can see the various common attribute which will be applicable to all the entities not particular one party entity suppose I created address entity these features will be also applicable to that all the entities so display column null option if you want to show then if column is null it will be shown display column domain if you want to show it will be shown if it is a display owner you can show the display owner also but I will not show it for now I will see the other option so in the display so we have the display shadow offset right so if you want to change offset also or any custom um, this is more relevant to the diagram related property so you have that features also we will explore all these things in upcoming session but for now just uh, check uh, see how the things changes if you change these options I selected this option and I cannot see so let's add some more options display data type okay now it will close and see okay Okay, let me see relationship entities members general let me it should show these things but one second okay attribute data type designer pk attribute designer and let's go back and see whether these options are available okay so as this part is entity when i select option i can see all these details so party id is char 18 and it's not null party name is char because we change the data type and it is not null again however the full name is null so from where this default is coming so if you want to see this default value you can go to the model go to the properties and all the defaults will be available here if you change the logical data type from default 18 character to some other value so those will be selected by default the char 18 is selected that's the reason the if you don't select a data type automatically char 18 will be selected if you want to change the null thing also currently a default value for non key attribute null option is null and if it is non identifying relationship null option is null allowed so that is the reason if you do not select uh, null option by, by default null will be selected other than primary key now th if you see that this is the default theme default theme means it comes with some uh, some kind of uh, uh, by default setting for the representing the model in this uh, ervin model data model if you want to go for the classic view you can go to you can select and just select the classic theme so if you select the classic theme background become white and the the option will highlighted appropriately so these are the details about 
um, about the various properties available at the entity level and also at the model level now suppose um, I I will add one more entity and here is my entity entity name is suppose address and here is edit address tab addr id tab addr line 1 now if you notice the as i have configured the this property at the my uh, workbench level so all the tables will be showing the appropriate changes like it is showing the char 18 it is showing the null option if i want to change that so i will go entity and i will not show the null option so for example let's click on the close and now i can't see the null option it is applicable to all the domain now i if suppose if i want to reward these changes till my party level i don't want the address changes to be incorporated so what i'll do i will go to the action logs okay and here is the create entity so this entity is got created and i will undo to this point so you can see the all the new entity created for the party uh, for the address or get undo or so get removed from my workbench so what action i did i did the destroy object so that is the advisory here and here i can see the overview suppose if i add more object so i will select this and click here so you can see it can incorporate all the views similarly i will add more some more I will add few more as well now suppose this is the blue line actually it is nothing but if you want to zoom on particular object you can do that just make a small so if you see if I make small I can ha particularly go on that object and see in detail so it's a kind of zoom or zooming the overview section so by using this you can particularly work on one domain at a time so if you see the workbench is showing only that part however the overview section is showing all the components in a single view so you can use that accordingly as per your requirement so for the today's session uh, these are the details in upcoming session we will see more and more details of more and more feature about the armin data modeler tool i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to understand this tool more uh, precisely if you have any questions you can mention comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time